Welcome back to The Vocalist. Today, we are doing something a little different, thanks to one of your suggestions. Um, we're listening to Angelina Jordan sing My Funny Valentine, but we are listening to two different recordings. Uh, the first one will be from 2016, and the second one will be from this year. I'm not sure how this is gonna go. I usually like to pause and talk throughout, but I also wanna do a little bit of compare and contrast. So we're starting with the 2016 version. Here we go. Hi, I wish you a happy Valentine's Day. It's not my dim-witted friend The picture thou hast made Thy vague bow and toss let her Conceal by God intent Thou noble, upright, truthful, sincere And slightly don't begin I'm sorry, I have to stop. I just want to... I just want to hear this all from the beginning again. I, oh, I just, she's so good. She's so good. And it's so fun to watch her at this age. Um, you'll notice, I always talk about speaking voice compared to singing voice. Her speaking voice is a little higher. It's very bright. It's very resonant and very forward. So you can tell already in her technique, she's learned to incorporate a slightly lower laryngeal position, very open pharynx that's giving her that warm, sultry sound, but there's no tension. It's just kind of like, it's more buoyant and a little bit fuller for a singer of this age. Um, those little like lilting slides though are so characteristic of, you know, this time period. And so she just does such a great job of matching the genre with her style. Um, What's the other thing? Uh, I don't remember. It'll come to me. Behold the way I find feather friend is virtue to pray. Thou knowest not my dim witted friend, the picture thou hast made. Thy vague bow and toss let her Conceal by God intent Thou noble, upright, truthful, sincere And slightly don't begin You're my funny Valentine Sweet comic Is 
this up on whoop, ads okay I'm gonna keep this up on my screen um we're gonna go to the to the next version the the most recent cover of this song I didn't want to stop while she was singing she's just uh so captivating a couple of things though that I will point out I imagine we're gonna see a big difference in breath control um and like um, sustaining breath. So probably a lot longer phrases. No matter how tall you grow to be, our lung capacity as children is obviously not what it is as we grow and mature and become adults. So that's the first thing I noticed. I was so, so happy that um, when she got to the chorus, she really did full voice, like full adduction. That beautiful, breathy, sort of raspy sound she has is stunning, but I love the variety. And I've said this before about her voice, like the variety that she has, I think, is what has enabled her to have stamina. It has sort of protected her vocal health throughout the years because if you're only singing in one place, especially as you're as you're maturing, as your vocal cords are growing and developing, um, that's where you'll notice some singers find themselves in some sticky situations um, in terms of their vocal health because they've been doing the same thing over and over and they haven't had to flex those laryngeal muscles in a new way, but she's not doing that. So I love the variety. I also really appreciate so many of these songs, like, golly, since like, you know, 1900 to 1940. I feel like a lot of them have these gorgeous introductions that we never hear in performance. And so I'm very glad she sang that. Now we're going to switch to the current year and hear some differences. Got distracted because I thought I was gonna actually see her sing. Okay, back to the beginning, focusing on vocals now. Um, one thing you can already hear in her sound is that full chord adduction. It's still got that gorgeous color to it, but it's a little bit more powerful. It's got more presence, um, slightly closer adduction on those chords. she sings through consonants my funny valentine like she it's so velvety and she really like 
really sings on those consonants and it's it creates those gorgeous legato lines so even though as a child it was still very very artistic you can hear just how much more artistic it is now because obviously she's grown as an artist but physically she has a lot more ability as well Y'all look so Like, you don't have that kind of control as a young kid. <laughs> I, I'm going to try and get through this. And then we're going to go back and forth because it's just so, so fun to hear these differences. Um, but that slide and how she sort of released at the top there. Mm. But don't. through the entire song twice again but now I want to go back and forth between the two so we're starting back um, in 2016 hi I wish you a happy Valentine's Day I just love this intro so we're, we're listening to it anyway me oh the way I for the friend is virtue to pray Thou knowest not my dim-witted friend The picture thou hast made Thy vague bowing toss let him Conceal by God intent Thou noble, upright, truthful, sincere And slightly don't be Anytime you have these sort of intros, some people <laughs> really drag them. There's nothing wrong with that, but I love it's a, you're telling a story. And so I love that the pace is a little quicker and she's more conversational and not, you know, 
not taking her time too much so that we can get to to the proper part of the song. It's just, a, it's a lovely delivery. Um, okay. You can hear just a little bit of improvisation in there, which is so lovely to hear in such a young singer. Um, obviously, it all paid off for her. You can hear that. You can hear how how much more contrast she has in her sound. Still the same color and quality, I'd say, for both of these, but she's really playing a lot more with like full adduction. that now she's um, she's able to incorporate more straight tone um, just because she was probably working really hard to develop that as a young child. It sounds like a completely different singer. The fry that she uses, the nasal resonance, it's so stunning. Let's go back. And here you can hear you can hear just that tiny little vibrato in there. She's really working to develop this at this age, um, but it's very smooth here. She's not going into all these different textures just yet. So when you are younger and you're trying to figure out chest voice, mixed voice, head voice, and all the colors that are in each part of your range, um, it can be it can be challenging, obviously, because we speak in chest voice. Developing a stronger head voice, huh, that lighter sort of airier sound. Um, what she's doing. Let me let me play that one more time. You can hear as she descended, she sort of stayed in that head placement so that it that's a great way of building um, and developing your head voice. The If you like bring it down low so that you understand how to incorporate it um, more in mid range, uh, but also that strengthens it because again, we're always talking in that range. So you have, that's why you'll hear a lot of young singers. They can like belt really high and then it goes from like a 10 dynamic level to like a three when they flip into head voice because it's just not, it's not been used. It's not been developed and strengthened. So what she's doing is so beautiful because artistically it matches the song so well, but she's also doing good things in her larynx as well. Is your figures less angry? Is your mouth a little weak? When you open it to speak, are you smart? Right there, just that little bit of like fry. She's starting to to incorporate. Love that. I'm gonna go back to the other one. It's almost like 
like a completely different sound in her head voice because this is more like mixed voice really Faye whenever you go up there she's still um she's still incorporating good chest resonance but it's high enough and she's using a light enough mechanism that I would define this as mix and so it's just got like this glorious warm color um I just my mind is racing it's obviously the same singer, obviously some similar sounds, but this is a pretty, pretty drastic growth for, you know, a period of six years. And I think so much of that can be attributed to her artistry and her willingness to really experiment with her voice. Is your figure less than Greek? Is your mind on mouth first she's like singing on the m really well but it it just matches the style so much like earlier i was getting some like macy gray vibes and i've mentioned this before whenever she goes into that like fry that's a little bit more narrow it's so cool this is i don't know it's kind of like some ella fitzgerald slash Billy Holiday vibes. I don't know. I love it. It's so beautiful. Hold that to speak. That was very Ella for me. To speak. Are you some Don't change your hair for me. Those runs, those are so smooth. And now this is just almost completely R&B. So she's got so much diversity, but it all fits um, in this song. The other thing I love that she's doing now at an older age is because she has all these new colors and textures that she has access to, um, she didn't go into that full voice um, let me, I think we're almost there in this, in this 2016 version. Let me just play it. Don't change your hair for me. Not if you care for me. Stay little bit of time. Stay. So when she repeats this, she does that same full voice, gorgeous sound, but now she has so many additional colors and sounds that she can produce, so she didn't. Um, I think it was just that one really beautiful climactic moment in the 2022 version. Um, yeah, let me just keep going. Not if you care for me, stay. little stretch because obviously before she flipped into head voice she just like glided up so smoothly so that she stayed in that same registration
I want to hear that one more time. Her full voice, like in that mix, it's so, it's just got the perfect amount of ping. Like it's still warm. It's still full. It matches everything else, but it just has this like edge to the sound that is so thrilling and so exciting. sound with those runs how much time she's willing to take and how smooth they are I just <sighs> so good that's it for today I know it was a long one so if you made it this far thanks for sticking it out with me I I'm just blown away by this girl her talent well young woman now and because so much time passes between each of my reactions to her, even though I've heard her at a young age and something a little bit more current, it's so exciting to really just jump through time and hear hear how much she's grown and developed, but also still be able to appreciate what an incredible artist she was at such a young age. So... Thank you for this recommendation. Thank you for watching with me and hopefully I will see you next time.